Seven years ago to the day, Little Nightmares was released. The game was labelled a deeply imaginative horror game, a fresh take on the horror genre, a chilling odyssey worth taking, one of the scariest games you'll play. So that was a f***ing lie. Okay, it's not massively scary, but it is an absolutely amazing puzzle game, rivalling the likes of the Unravel series and even It Takes Two. However, that horror aspect means that not only is your mind put to the test, but so is the strength of your sphincter as your butt puckers whilst trying to avoid being mutilated by various different monsters. Today's challenge requires us to complete this game in under an hour and without dying for the hard to the core achievement. No, not that one, this one. There is a method to cheat death in this challenge, but as I value content more than I do my own sanity, we're not going to use this. Unlike some of the more recent completions, I decided to play through the game casually on my first attempt. Not only to learn the puzzles and see where the pinch points were, but also to do some true investigation into the real questions people want answered. Oh, can I get in the bucket? Come on, get in the bucket, you little prick. Boom. Just a, a girl in a bucket. What more do you need? Continuing on with chapter one, we encounter this gentleman who has unalived himself, and I can only presume he was going for this achievement as well. As you will soon discover, I almost lost my mind going for this. Okay. Ow. Am I dead? I have died. Okay. How do I get out of here? Somebody help me! What is go- oh my god, hello, what the hell are you? Jesus, I don't want to get in a fight with him. He looks freaky. But concerned about this horrifying demon that is before me. <laughs> oh my god, he's coming- he's reaching for my little ass. Leave me alone. Okay, right- oh, okay, yeah, we just run here. That's- that's fine. Just get me out of this room. Once we'd gotten past the janitor, we complete a few puzzles, and we've got through the first chapter in a respectable 31 minutes. Chapter 2 still faces us up against the janitor, but this time it's a lot more intimate. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm, I'm not hugging him. You can get that idea out of your head. I'm not going near that guy. Let's go give him a hug. Hello. Oh. Oh, well that's no fun at all. I thought he was going to like rip my head off or something. He's not a very huggy person. He's more of a, you know, strangle you by the neck, Ted Bundy sort of person. I mean, I think so. He's got that big old bandage over his head, isn't he? That's my thought process. Like, he, he can't see through that, can he? I mean, is it a bandage? I think it's a bandage. He sniffs and touches and listens. That is... I think the worst three words anyone has ever used to describe someone else. <gasps> run, 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 jump! <gasps> okay, sorry about that. Everything's fine. Oh my god. No thank you. Okay, yes, the gremlins. Ah! No, the gremlins! As if no shot he has reached that. I'm being tormented by whatever the hell this thing is. That is I don't care what it is. I want him to stop. He's grabbing at my Roger, which is the issue. I need him to leave me alone. Once we'd finally avoided Roger the janitor in an elevator, we make our way through a library, dodge Roger in a vent, and get chased to the end of the chapter. Ah! Okay, never mind. Run, 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 run. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Slide to the left! There's no way this crate doesn't collapse, right? Perhaps it... That's a silly idea. Why would I go next to a crate that's about to be crushed? Look, grab it! Oh my god, if I die, thanks to you... Let's go! He's just got little, like, spaghetti... Can we take his arm? Pick up his arm. Ah, oh, six, you're rubbish. Chapter three takes us into the kitchens, and this is where we first encounter the twin chefs. Yeah, to be honest, if 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 I was six in this situation, I don't think I'd be too hungry. Um... Wait, did anyone else see that? Let's go back a second. Oh my god. It's Linguini from the 2007 Pixar masterpiece that was Ratatouille. And what's that above his head? Oh my god, it's Chef Remy. He's ruining the soup! It appears from the downfall of Chef Gusteau's once four-star restaurant. Remy and Linguini have fallen into a deep depression, 
and now find themselves working in a cruise line kitchen. Linguini chases me powered by a murderous Remy. Fortunately, due to his unhealthy relationship with food over the past 10 years, Linguini can no longer reach under the table to fuel Remy's homicidal tendencies. We get some distance between us and the sadistic duo, but as we escape, Linguini and Remy let out one final screech of horror. We make our way through some puzzles and reunite with Linguini and Remy in the freezer. They take the time to pick up some cheese and then just... stop. I wonder what they're thinking about. Oh, Gusto was right. Oh, mm, yeah. Oh, amazing. Cheese. We evade Remy and his villainous butchery once more and make our way to the final kitchen where we encounter Linguini yet again. Which is where I realise something. The average lifespan of a rat is only five years. Linguini wasn't trying to capture and kill us. He was trying to capture us and replace his best friend. His best friend that we'd been seeing the ghost of throughout the chapter. Fill that hole in his life that's been missing for the past five years. This isn't a man hell-bent on bringing an end to your life. This is a man who's been brought to his knees doing whatever he can to once again feel whole. Rest in peace, Remy. You were loved not only by Linguini, but by many. We get onto the hook and make our escape as Linguini watches, helpless. Under the thought his best friend has left him to live the rest of his life alone, Linguini falls into alcoholism and drug addiction, eventually costing him his life. Getting into chapter 4, I firstly want to thank and congratulate you on making it through whatever I was on when I edited chapter 3. That was... something. Sure. In this chapter, we take on The Guests, which I've grabbed a horrifying description of from the official Bandai Namco website. Oh my god, hello. Look at his little feet under the table there. It's got little stumpy legs. We're going to try and not trigger him, because that would not be good for me. No, 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 no. No, oh my god, you fat little thing. Leave me alone. Oh, I have to go up. Okay. Uh, yeet. Oh. Ah! Okay. <gasps> I survived. Built different. Boom. Sprint. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah! Okay, it's fine. He's got fat little arms that can't reach me. Yes, that's what I thought, yeah. Dick bag. Okay. Uh, hello. Leave me alone. You just start running and you don't stop running. Oh my Christ, there are so many of these horrible things. Come on, climb! Six, you f Nothing is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, jump! Let's go! That's chapter four. Let's go! Okay, I can do that. That's, that's doable on... in an hour. This is the final chapter then, chapter 5. Bish bash bosh. Hello, my dear. I don't suppose you have a key that you would be interested in giving to me. Um, doesn't fill me with joy that the, her mirror is broken. Which might be a munter. Right, the key is in the vase. That is good info. Singing has stopped. It's concerning. Hello, kimono lady. Leave me the hell out of this. This is not something I want to be a part of. <gasps> Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Right. She won't be able to see in the mirror if it's dark. She doesn't like the mirror, so I need to stay in the light so she doesn't murder me. Right? Theory. What do we think? Good plan? Bad plan? Eh? Yes. Brilliant plan. I'm a genius. Where are you, you cow? So wait, oh, she's turning. Oh my god. She's playing me like a fiddle. Come on, get up, six, you little gremlin. Okay, mirror's broken. She screamed in agony or something. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, nah, I don't have to eat this chick, do I? Let's get munching. Come on, six, get over there. Eat some flesh, get out of there. 
Am I the monster here? Is this what's going on? Oh, yeah, we're... God damn, Jimmy. This some serious going maze shit. I'm starting to think Six isn't the uh, kind little girl that we think she is. There we go. The ladies quarters. Well, what a game, actually, though. For two hours and 26 minutes gameplay, it's not the biggest game, but it was fantastic. With that, we'd completed the game and can now prepare for the hard to the core achievement run. Mentally preparing for this challenge, I split the game into each of the chapters and considered the problems that could come with each chapter. And I landed on three different areas that could cause us problems. First, in chapter two, when we're in the library. This area has loads of tight corners and very few pathways we can use to escape. And on top of this, we're trapped in there with Roger, who has the ability and skill to give you a colonoscopy from the other side of the room. Second, in Chapter 3, in the final kitchen room against the twin chefs. There are multiple areas we can alert them from, and if we don't time it perfectly with the hooks, we can easily be grabbed. Finally, in Chapter 4, along the table where all of the guests are eating. I managed to get through without being caught this time round, but it was very close. Let's give it a go. I'm built different, let's go. <gasps> For fuck's sake, man. <laughs> right. Okay, an, an early death to falling off the map on my first attempt definitely isn't the best way to start off, and it did bump my confidence a bit. But after that, I was adamant that I was not going to die to full damage again. Foreshadowing is a narrative device. And I think we just jumped down here, don't I? If I remember correctly. Boom. I swear I just jumped down last time. And the worst part about that is that someone in my chat predicted it was going to happen not five minutes earlier. And this pattern, unfortunately, followed us through the game. We picked up death after death after death in the first two chapters, and my overinflated ego after completing the game a whole one time came shattering back to reality. That was until attempt number 10. In attempt number 10, we complete chapter 1's puzzles and get through to chapter 2 in a solid 11 and a half minutes. In chapter 2, we manage to evade Roger in the wrapping room, make it through the library, and chop off Roger's arms, bringing us to chapter 3 for the first time when going for this achievement. can hear the knife sharpening of boss numero uno of this area. I should have stepped, stayed crouched. Okay, that's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I'm just going to duke him out. Don't you dare catch me here. I'm left trigger! You f- Why can't you see my cousin? Why? 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 It's safe to say I was not impressed with what I had just witnessed. And unfortunately for me, the downfall from that run stuck with me over the next few hours of attempts. I'm thinking I'm going to lose my mind. What have I just witnessed? Don't hit the leech, you fat gimp. Take me, just take me to the main menu, honestly. I, I don't even want to see this game anymore. Ha! Like, he's blind. How has he seen me? I've made no noise. I'm crouched. Ugh. stuck in my chair, man. F*** my life. Attempt 19 takes me back to chapter 3, and this time we successfully walk past the chef. Get me a medal, I'm absolutely brilliant. We make it to the final kitchen, get past the chefs, just about. No, I'm not taking the risk. Get me in here. Ooh. And we manage to escape, using the hooks, getting us to chapter 4. With chapter 3 out of the way, We've made it past the hardest part of the game, and with only chapter four and five to go, surely nothing can stop us. Foreshadowing is right. I know. Oh my god! I've almost instantly fallen off the goddamn map. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Walk there. I know falling off wouldn't cause me to.
There we go. Attempt 24. My lucky number. It's the day I was born. All right. Let's do this. Yes, that's what I thought, Roger. Suck my nuts. Ten and a half minutes. This is officially a run. All right, here we go. Mission two. All right, just got to walk. Just the full walk of... The full fighters! Honestly, the monster that lives in here must have the world's the biggest foot fetish. Right, and just living amongst all these shoes, you must be like... <laughs> right, he's turned the TV off. Oh no, I can still hear it. He's not turned the TV off, he's just enjoying the scary little Victorian rhymes. Let's go! Move that fat arm of yours. Let's go! Eat my ass, Roger! Sheesh! Mission three. Nom, 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 nom. Just grab a handful of cheese. And I'm just gonna put that in my pocket. Yeah, that's a good idea. Bit of pocket cheese. Yeah, pocket cheese. Right. Leave it or not, chat. I have been looking at the, the speed run for this particular section because it's the part I always get stuck at. And believe it or not, you don't even have to do this. You can literally just completely ignore this segment of the game. There we go. Nice. Right. Now we just need to time this right. Okay. Right. We'll, we'll go again. Let's go. Come on. Right, it did take me like 10 minutes, but we got it. <laughs> Let's go. So they do still come for you here, but they're like 5, 10 seconds behind from where they should be. So you've got plenty of time to just get away. You've got about 10 minutes. Just un just un just over. Just over 10 minutes to beat the game. <sighs> it's going to be close. Nice, nice, nice. And back, jump to jump. Oh my god, six. You can give me a f***ing aneurysm. Ooh, right, we need to make this jump. No! Oh! That's not good. That's not good at all. We don't have the time for this. Okay, there we go. Nice. Come on, come on. Stamina, please. Let's go. Come on. Right, bomb it. Come on. Come on, avoid them, avoid them, avoid them. Make this jump, Six. Make this jump. Right. Four and a half minutes. Here we go. Final mission. Three minutes. So what we need to do, we need to run past this woman, get the key, get down, kill her, and then it's credits, right? Right, give me that key. Two minutes. Oh my god. We've got a minute. We're not we're not doing it. We're not doing it, chat. Right. Okay. So where can we pick up time? I mean I feel like we did chapter one and two. We were uh, ahead of time almost the whole way. So it's got to be chapter three. We lost so much time trying to go for that skip. I think that's the only way we can pick up, well, save time. That's really the only area we lost time on. Come on, fucking chow down. Have we done it? I don't think I've died. I... I don't know. Have we met the time? When do we get the achievement? <laughs> Come on, please, man. 24 attempts, I need this. <laughs> I don't think I've died, and we should be... I, the time's the only issue. Come on, please. Please tell me we're under an hour, game time. Doesn't count. 
loading and it doesn't count cutscenes. Come on, please. Vamos, baby! Let's go! <sighs> and with that, we'd completed the game in under an hour's game time, with zero deaths, and unlocked the hard to the core achievement. Little Nightmares was definitely a brilliant puzzle game, and I'm sure one I'll come back to finish off soon enough. Although there were a number of occasions where I got slightly irritated at the character not doing what I control them to do. Push it, six. Push! Push the door! Climb the f link, you Push it, push it, six. Oh my God, the f rat little doesn't know how to do anything. I'm pushing the buttons. I know how to do it. She's just <laughs> grab the thing, you. F Can you push the button, please, six. You imbecile. Get in that. Get in. Get in the box. It's just so hit or miss whether it works for you or not. And I'm um, at my wits' end with this raincoat little. Little Nightmares 3 is coming out later this year, so let me know if you'd like to see a video on Little Nightmares 2 and 3 in the coming months. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Suck my nuts, Little Nightmares, you're getting uninstalled.